Welcome back to Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. Goal is to head up to that gigantic crane to use it to get across to something. Bonuses, yes. There's nothing more post-apocalyptic than old, like, I don't know what they're covered in. How, how are they covered in plants all the way up there? I would have thought they would just be rusty, actually, but they've actually got green on them. Huh. But anyway, yeah, nothing more post-apocalyptic than old swinging traffic lights. any vertical spaces. Ooh, there's some ammo up there. Don't know how to get up there, though. I feel like there must be a better way out of this place, but I didn't see anything. Yeah, how do I get up there? Don't see handholds. I can't seem to jump on these these things like this. I can jump over it, but it doesn't seem like I can jump on it. Could use stealth, but nah. Let's test out my new ability. So I want to test out the uh, counterattack. So if I successfully block an enemy's attack, I should be able to counterattack with B. Let's try it. Seem to be working? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, did I misunderstand what a block is? This is a block, right? Let's take a look at counterattack again. Press B the moment monkey successfully blocks an attack. Huh, I don't get it.
It's a dead end. Like we have to head upwards. You could throw me up there. Why do the mechs try to kill us? It's all they know. We should keep moving, it's not safe. Holy crap, look at that tree in that building. Could a tree ever grow like that? on top of a building. It's interesting, it's really cool looking. I wish I could sprint. Should help your wounds. Oh. I can ask them to heal me. Whoops. Yeah, I've already got max health right now, but uh yeah, it looks like I can get up to five of those that trip can heal me with. Cool. Oh computers. They need to double cross? I think so. What the hell? Are you okay? He didn't see him. Monkey, there's nothing there. I must be going crazy. It could be because of your headband. It is effectively wired into your brain. Maybe it... ...causes hallucinations. Great. Great, this, this just gets better and better. I'm sorry. Looks like we saw for a brief moment... ...like a, a memory of someone who used to work here. Look, like somebody working an office job. Which is what we just went through. Much of like computer desks and stuff. This way. Whoa. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, I think, is this back on the area I was trying to get up to originally? I'm not sure. I kind of want to drop down there to check, but then I might have to redo a bunch of stuff. Hey, we might have a problem. One of those mechs has a shield. Wait here. I'll do a scan.
That's our way out. I'll mark it. There's something different about that mech on the left. I think its gun arm might be detachable. Okay, I'll see if I can rip it off. They've activated! Distracted! Sure! <laughs> Jesus. I'm guessing I don't get to keep this, right? Or, well, I sort of can, but I can't jump. And I can't move very fast. Can I pick it up again? Nope, just rolls off, alright. Cool. That's gonna come in handy. Oh! Temporary handholds. Alright, that's a thing. I don't think I can get you across this. Oh, wait. I can get through here. Okay, I'll find another way around. There's a security door here. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay, let's go. We're nearly at the metal tower. <laughs> yeah, I think Trip is wearing the our dragonfly buddy in their in their hair. Looks really nice. Almost looks like uh, like feathers, Whoa. kind of. There's a lot of mechs out there. Wait, I'll do a scan with the dragonfly. It looks like we need to get to that door. Bad news is that turret is covering it. Okay. That mech has the same kind of detachable gun arm. Multiple mechs, but they're inactive. I'll wait here until it's safe. I'd like to get to the turret and take over that and use it to shoot them all, but with this detachable one over here, I don't think I can do that, because I think it just, it'll just like see me pretty much right away, right? If I go anywhere over there, it will. 
Yeah, I don't think there's any way around. Maybe? I doubt it. Here we go. Can I just blow that thing to smithereens? Oh, I guess not, but it just goes, like, retracts to protect itself. That makes sense. I can drop the ladder if you get me up there. Looks like I could probably jump on like a bunch of pillars down here, but I don't see anything down there, so I guess not. Oh. I can't go that way. Do I have to get them up the ladder before taking care of the gun? I think so. Also, there's some bonus stuff up here. Let's go! Can I make that jump? Whew. Oh! Oh god! Not really. Monkey, are you okay? I'm fine. Just wait there. I'm coming. safe to walk on? What the hell's keeping it up? Be careful! 
I can't jump up from here? Crap. Maybe around that side? I don't know. Fully charged. Ah, yes. I was wondering if I'd have to use the turret. Shit! Shit! You're trying to run! Cover me! Keep them back while I get this open. I just need a few more seconds. It looks like the points that you get from killing enemies, you kind of get them if you get anywhere in the vicinity of them. They just kind of come to you. Another memory. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Just like everyone else did. I ain't gonna let that happen. I should probably spend my points. The metal tower. We're nearly there. There's mechs down there. I'll deal with them. Let's just make our way down. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend some. So, still have no idea what's up with this counterattack, but. Let's try this. Evade behind an enemy and then attack them. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Press X during an evade. Timing change is the type of evade attack performed. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So evade like this and then press X. Oh, was that... Was that an evade attack? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, so let's see. If you do it really quickly, it's like a huge swing of the staff. Uh, if I attack later, it's like an uppercut.
And if you do it really late... Oh, actually, I, I think that's just a normal attack. Yeah, so I think it's two types. This one, and this one. What if they do bonus damage? Get some sleepy mechs down there. Just taking a nap. I could just shoot him. <laughs> no real reason to, though. Stun? Ammo? Hmm? Oh, I can shoot... Oh, so this is damage and this is stun. Stun Blast will freeze an enemy for a limited time. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't see any reason to use that for normal enemies, though. Save that for something special. I just piss them all off. Yeah, that uh, dodge attack worked really well. Oh, another one of you. Well, hold on. The other one I wasn't even able to kill, like, with my own staff, so... Does this one also need a similar, like, different way of, of killing it? I don't think beating it up's gonna do much, right? Then again, they're giving me a lot of ammo. Yeah, make him charge, but make him charge into what? This, I guess? Hey! 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 This won't last. Grab him after he charges into all to perform a takedown. Oh! Oh, it's too late. There's a handhold up there, too. Can I do a takedown now? Oh, they have an exclamation mark over them. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Wish I did that with the first one. I 
think we can get back out onto the street from here. Wait, what can I grab this? I know there's an ammo limit, but I just assumed it was per type of ammo. And this one I only have two left of. Hey! Whoops. <laughs> Don't mean to scream at you, Trip. But uh, yeah, maybe it's universal ammo? Like all of the ammo combined? I don't know. Otherwise, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to grab that. Come on, monkey. Let's go. Find another way getting you across. Wait here. You're leaving me alone here? How do I know you're coming back? You die, I die, right? Yeah. So. I just realized something really strange and funny. So, this game does seem to use controller vibration. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller to play it, by the way. But it uses it the most sparingly I've ever seen any game ever use it. It seems to only use it during cutscenes, and only in, in a couple spots, like when Monkey jumped down in the cutscene, there was a tiny little rumble, and I, I think there may have been a rumble when they uh, like closed the hatch on this thing for a trip. And that's it. It During normal gameplay, I, I don't think there's any rumble at all. Every time it happens in the cutscene, I'm like, oh, whoa, oh, right, rumble. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.